There is plenty to talk about in a brand new book. It is a spectacular read. It's called Banking Bad. Uh, well, it started as a newspaper article. It became a TV story. It'll probably end up as a TV series after the freaking book. It's not just the story of the Royal Commission. It's about what led to the reportage about the stories that eventually got to the Royal Commission. Also, uh, the bravery of one of the politicians you know that we love uh, the most, who sadly is no longer in the Senate, but well and truly has got plenty of kick left in him, and he's joining us here along with the very author of this book and one of the great reasons for that Banking Royal Commission. Adele Ferguson is her name, and uh, the great John Wacker Williams. Good to be with you, one Paul. Hello. hello. Thanks for coming along. My Good pleasure. to be Interview 725, so I'll try and make it slightly different <laughs> for you. Um, did you like, by the way, that I was so fired up that I blew out the microphones earlier? Loved it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The power of your voice is incredible. It just blows electrics up. Yeah, shout out to KK. <laughs> all right. Now, um, we all know, uh, and certainly people watching this channel, they all know what eventually got us to that Royal Commission, the reportage that you did. But I wanted to know, because I'm a great admirer of your work, Kate McClymonts, and anyone who is these uh, deep investigative reporters... There's a story in here about how IOOF um, went after somebody. There's also stories in here about how banks have, have, have gone after either you or whistleblowers. Yeah. Um, when you pursue banks or financial institutions, what's the dirtiest thing that they did to either discredit somebody who is the centre of your story or you for writing them? Oh, gee, that's a tough one because there's quite a few. <laughs> there's another book in that. Oh, I'm trying to think. Look, I, one of the really bad ones was IOOF, as you were saying. So it was a whistleblower who had gone internally to tell the company there's insider trading, front-running, um, misrepresentation of performance figures so that people are going into products and they're all pretend. And he got in, he got sacked for it, he comes to me... I write the story and I get an email from a very senior official at IOOF and it says, this guy is not a whistleblower. You have been conned. He has tried to extort money. He's done this to get the job of his boss. Wow. Um, he has tried to blackmail staff, threatening to kidnap their kids. And, by the way, he's also a schizophrenic. Blimey. None of which was true. None of which was true. I went and met with him and... It was just a load of garbage. It was just a way to besmirch him. Then I was getting all these anonymous phone calls with people saying similar things. Yeah. Just saying, hey, watch out for old mate yeah. because dot, dot, dot. Also, I mean, you know, let's get to the wacker part here because you two had this incredible um, symbiotic working relationship, which is exactly what we hope about how uh, the light has to come in, yeah. which is somebody writes a story, you say, well, hang on, there's a role for government. This is our, our responsibility as the ultimate uh, framers of legislation, the people who frame the rules about all of this stuff, to start going and, and fixing the holes that are here. That's right, Paul. Um, conversely, you would <coughs> find things, raise them publicly, you'd follow up. How important to get into the Royal Commission was Adele's relentlessness as a reporter and, conversely, how important was it about his relentlessness as a politician to, to pick it up? I'll start with you first, Wacker. Adele and I built a great friendship on trust. I trusted Adele, she trusted me. We'd never leak a secret from each other. We'd work and plan on things together. And we first got together, together as far as working together when I launched Inquiry into Liquidators back in 2009, Paul. Adele rang me and we sort of worked from then on, but I gave her the story about the um, Commonwealth Financial Planning when I met with the whistleblower there, Jeff Morris and, uh, and Jane Braun, Marilyn Swanson. People had been affected and had been dudded. They said, what should we do? I said, should we give it to the media? I suggested Adele, which we did. Then Adele went through the whole 7-Eleven underpay, people cheating on the paying, underpaying staff, just stealing their money, really. So I followed up with an inquiry into the, uh, the whole uh, franchise industry. Adele launched a whole inquiry in Four Corners with uh, the life insurance. I followed up in the palm with, inqui with inquiry into life insurance for the changes coming out industry. So we bounced off each other working to, to right the wrongs in the long term. Yeah, it's this thing where I, I find it amazing. As you're doing all this financial reporting that eventually gets us to the Royal Commission, you've got 7-Eleven and all the rest of it, I've got to ask a question about you as a reporter. Yeah. Are you the type of person who's just got whiteboards all over the house and you're trying to link things everywhere? <laughs> Are there bits of paper? How do you map the enormity of what you're trying to cover? Oh, gosh, I... Yeah, very organised. Really? So there's not yeah. a room somewhere that's just... Hang on, I remember this. Um, there it is. Yeah, there's a lot of files everywhere. <laughs> yeah. um, what about his tenacity? It's just incredible. You know, I say in the book that 
John is one of the greatest politicians Australia's ever seen. Agree. I paid her for it. <laughs> no, I have never seen anything like it. He stands... He's a man of integrity, stands by his convictions and is willing to cross the floor to stand by those convictions. This is it. When everyone else was pretending they were for it, he was actually voting for it. He was actually putting skin in the game. He was. So I want to ask about... Because uh, a, big, a big part of, of, of the book and much of the commentary that exists today is, well, we all know that there was a Royal Commission. We all know that there was plenty of stories, but bank stocks eventually went up when the report came out. The assumption was that it, this, this, this wasn't the day of reckoning in the end that, that either people had hoped for or falsely expected or anything like that. Um... Did it end up doing what you hoped it would do? I think the problem... No, it didn't. The problem was it was too short. Twelve months was way too short. So you had, for example, the superannuation industry. It's a $2.8 trillion industry. To spend two weeks on it wow. wasn't enough when they spent more than four days on just National Australia Bank. So... Retail funds, industry funds, they, it, it just wasn't enough. Mm. And that happened time and again. And so the final report came out and it didn't really get to the heart of the matter. Vertical integration, which is a structural issue, it, didn't, it just didn't even look at that. And then when, when that report came out and what some of those um, recommendations were, whether they went far enough or not, Again, that's part of the book, and I want you to read the book. I also want you to read Annalise Nielsen's book, and we'll have her on as well. You can buy both. Relax. <laughs> Father's Day's coming up. Father's, grandfather's. They can get two, two versions, all right? No question about it. No divided loyalties here. Um, can the financial system, if it did every single thing that was recommended by Hain, done by... If, if they followed everything to the, to the letter... Could they still be producing the profits that the stock market demands of them? Because today, Commonwealth Bank's eight and a bit billion dollars. If for all the different, if they changed part of what they do, then they only made six billion dollars profit. Sure, six billion, six billion. But we live in a system that demands you've got to do better than you did last time. Got to do better. Got to do better. Could they still do that? Yeah, I think they could because people will have to go to the bank. They're still going to invest with them. They just don't have to rip them off. <laughs> no, not a crazy idea. Yeah, it's not a crazy idea. Wacker, please tell me, and if they're not, pick up the freaking phone, everyone. Is the government close to responding to this in the way that you hoped they would? I don't know, Paul, is my frank answer. But you see, it's already had some effect. People are pulling their money out of the retail funds, the banks and that with their super and taking off to industry super funds. I think Haynes should have spent more time looking at, looking at industry super funds itself. But, of course, as Adele said, a bit quick for that. As I said on a previous program, Paul, their reputation has been trashed at financial institutions, the banks, IWF, AMP. They need to show the lead to restore the reputation. They've got to do the right thing. If they don't... This book will be pulled out in the year 2120 and they'll say, look what they did 100 years ago. Haven't we learned? Because the book's going to be around for a long time, a lot longer than probably all of us put together. I would think so. And so I think there'll be references made back to that book in years and generations to come to say, here's a warning. The Royal Commission had his say. Did the government act good enough? Did they act quick enough? We don't know. Time will tell. But if they do the wrong thing again, it'll all be reminded in that book. And it'll all come back to bite them in the future. Buy the book, all right? Buy one for yourself, buy one for Dad for Father's Day. Uh, let's make sure that Adele can put a second, third, fourth story on a house. Wacky can buy 15 different... Uh, <laughs> to get a well, job. have no financial interest in this, but it's, yes. It is. Nothing for me, mate. Taking bad, as I say, we'll, we'll plug Annalise's as well in the next little while. Adele, an absolute honour to, uh, to meet you tonight and to be able Thank to you. chat to you on telly. Thank you. Strength to your arm. Thank you very much. Thank all right. You.